Hey everyone, and welcome to the STO Academy's walkthrough for Everything Old is New Again. You're going to start off by going to the Drozana station, and you need to head back into this room to use the same console you used for last mission, which is right over here. So once you activate that, you're going to go down to the computer core, and you're going to need to use this portal. First thing you need to do is fire at it, just one shot will be fine and then you can actually use it and you're gonna travel into the past so here you are in the past and uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do or I should say your main objective here is to create a subspace field emitter in order to detect the Davidians and see what they're doing so let's go this way and uh, we're gonna go over to this door we're gonna examine it and find out that it's locked So in order to unlock it, we're going to have to use the consoles in this room. So let's go back this way, and we're going to use the first console over here, which is the environmental systems control, and you bank switch memories 1 and 2. Then go up the ramp that's on the same side in this room, and you're going to have to go all the way around to the opposite side. Just make sure you stay on the ramp. And now at this console, you're going to have to bank switch memories 1 and 3. And the door should be open right now. Leave the room. And as you're heading up this way, you're going to encounter a crewman of the station. He's going to stop you and find out what you're doing. So, Federation people should be diplomatic. So choose um, I'm lost. I was stuck on the lift. Right, I should get back to the main station area. And, but if I'm contagious. Now for the Federation, being diplomatic here, well, throughout this mission, will get you an accolade. If you're in a Klingon faction, you can be, uh, well, you can kill everybody in sight and you'll get that accolade. So head into this room, and you're going to find the first component in here by go checking this console. It's the uh, Duradronic Transducer Relay. Now head up this ramp. And be careful because there is uh, crewmen that are patrolling around and if they spot you, they'll attack you. And actually I think they just went into the room. Let me get up a little higher. There you go. You see they're inside the room. So come over here and use this console to lock the doors. So that's the biggest trick with this uh, mission or this part of the mission. See where the patrol is, wait for them to go inside of the room. They can go inside this room that we just passed and use a console to lock them in. That way you don't have to battle them. Again, if you're the Klingons, you may want to so you can get that accolade. So let's continue on. And when we get into this room, there's going to be another crew man. Or crew woman in this case. Um, you can knock her out or speak to her. Klingons, go ahead and knock her out. So here you're going to want to choose some diplomatic options. Basically, you're just acting interested in what uh, she has to say. You go through these options. Then once you're done, she's going to realize the computer core is not replying. So she's going to leave. And you can access it. So go here, disconnect the power, touch the static discharge plate. Unlock the safety cage. And remove the computer monitor and then take the plank re regulator and now you can leave this room now we're gonna go to the turbo lift which is not this way <laughs> the turbo lift is the other way sorry about that and apparently I just ran through a door Okay, now let's use the turbo lift. It's going to bring us to the wrong level. Now you're going to have to be very quick over here. Run over to this console and lock the door. Then move straight across and use the Jeffrey soup. This prevents your battle with uh, some uh, guards that are on the station. Okay. Now you're going to have to go this way. 
and there's going to be a guy patrolling back and forth. So I suggest putting your uh, bridge officers in passive mode so they don't initiate battle. Now you're going to try to get around without drawing any attention. And hopefully you'll be diplomatic about this and they won't catch you. And they just caught me. Okay. Well, I just did that battle. So I well I already got the accolade in this character, but if I didn't I wouldn't be getting it right now. So come this way and don't enter this next room. Do not enter it. Use these options. They're the diplomatic options. If you go through those options, the guards in this room will leave, and you can go inside and use the console to reactivate the turbo lift. As you can see they're going down that way. Okay, now we got that. Now we should return to the turbo lift and uh, there won't be any more guards. And after this point now, you don't have to worry about sneaking around and hiding from them anymore. So let's use this turbo lift. Alright, so let's go this way and we're going to enter this room and directly ahead of us is none other than Dr. McCoy. So go through this dialogue, he's going to ask you to help him out, you're going to have to scan some patients. So once you're done with the dialogue, go over to the first patient on the right hand side or the left, it doesn't matter and you're going to need to click through all the options that appear there you go now go over to the other side of the room there's another patient over here and scan and go through the options Now that you're done, you're going to need to contact, or sorry, speak with Leonard McCoy. Try catching him. He just doesn't stop. Alright, I'm skipping ahead. First, you're going to choose negative 70 millivolts, 30 millivolts, and then sodium, external, potassium, external, and internal. He's going to try it on a patient. And it worked. So this part of the mission is done. Now you can continue on. Okay, now head in this direction and go into here. You're going to need one more part, so just collect it from this. This is the induction coil, by the way. And head into this room over here. Go into this middle area here, and you're going to need to set up the subspace field emitter. and you're going to realize what the Davidians are doing. So just head back out this way and go through this hallway and into this room, which actually looks like another hallway. Come here and you're gonna have to set up basically a portal to travel back through time. So once it's set up, you're gonna be pulled into battle with some Davidians. Defeat them and you're going to have to speak with Dr. McCoy again because apparently some of your bridge crew has been exposed to a lot of triolic radiation. So go back into this room and speak with McCoy and they just pretty much go through the dialogue. And that's it, you're done. You've completed the mission. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. I hope this walkthrough helped you out. You know the drill. Subscribe. Rate the video, leave any comments or suggestions you have below.
Take care.